The Louvre is home to one of history's earliest examples of political propaganda. It's a painting of the coronation of Napoleon, and in its creation, the artist manipulated the truth and idealized the players. It is a very interesting composition because it's very complex. How can you put 191 people in one big painting? So he made groups. So we have the family group, we have the clergy group, we have the embassies, we have the painter. For this painting, he was working more than three years. So he had a kind of official assistant who is called Rouget, that is sitting as well in the loge. And we have uh, in the middle also quite central and important, the mother of Napoleon, who was not there for the consecration. She was in Rome. He added her into the painting, which was, of course, not real history, but, I mean, at that time, this painting was political propaganda to show this important uh, fact of the history of France. The school of the neoclassical academical painting is that you have to first uh, copy a model after a sculpture or a real human model to make it all naked. And once you have the person all naked, then you add the clothes. That's the technique of the neoclassical painting, to have the perfect proportion of, uh, of the body. The very center part of the painting, where we have Josephine on the knee, she's represented very beautiful, and we know that she wasn't that beautiful. Napoleon himself is also shown as a taller person than he was. The Pope, he is blessing, you know, the coronation of Josephine and of uh, Napoleon. And on the original drawing, the preparation sketch that David did, he was just putting two hands on his lap. And so Napoleon was not satisfied when he saw this version and he said, it didn't make him come from so far just for doing nothing. And so that's why we have the Pope sitting on the chair with the two fingers, the sign of the blessing of the coronation. So on the very left side of the painting, where the family of Bonaparte is represented, we have uh, Joseph and Louis Bonaparte. And in the middle of the two men, you can see the crown of Charlemagne, which is still existing and that we have in the Gallery of Apollon, just a few meters of this gallery here. It's a political propaganda painting because of this representation of idealizing it, of a bit cheating on this history to make it more ideal to underline the new era of the empire. So we can see that he is really some, someone of importance to be shown in presence of the Pope. So we're really in the idea of the heritage of the monarchy with a new dynasty following. Of course, we are in the neoclassical academical painting. So historical subjects are always shown on big size painting. But this one is especially big. It gets really, you know, this kind of uh, uh, citation that Napoleon told that it's not a painting. You walk into this art piece. Ce n'est pas une peinture. Uh, on marche dans ce tableau. It's really something that he achieved by its monument size. Mm -hmm.